welcome my colleague Sukirti joins us live with the very latest on the COVID numbers in India. Sukirti, over 3 lakh cases for 6 straight days, 3 lakh 23,144 new cases in 24 hours, 2,771 people have lost their lives and these are just the official figures that India is reporting. Well, yes, Rishika, the situation in India in terms of our COVID uh, situation continues to be extremely worrying at this point of time. Uh, the number of deaths that have been recorded in the last 24 hours at around 2700 yesterday, it was around 2800, so a very marginal dip in the numbers. Uh, and of course, we all know that beyond these statistics, uh, these are actual people whose family members are running from pillar to post for everything from hospital beds to medicines at this point of time. If we look at the bigger states and their scenarios, Maharashtra has uh, shown slight relief because they have been seeing a decline in numbers from reporting about 60,000 cases on a daily basis. They are now recording around 48,700. Uh, this dip in cases in Maharashtra is being attributed to the impact of the lockdown. In the national capital, numbers at about 20,000 cases in the last 24 hours. However, it is difficult to say in Delhi's case whether this has anything to do with the lockdown because it is more likely due to the uh, almost 50% uh, tests are being done at this point of time uh, in comparison to the usual number of tests that the national capital conducts. Uh, other bigger states as well, UP with over 33,000 cases, Karnataka with 20, 29,000 cases, Karnataka again has seen a lockdown being implemented. Kerala also reporting over 20,000 cases, a state which had uh, started showing recovery, but then again over 20,000 cases from that state alone is a concern at this point of time. Uh, the Union Health Ministry saying that various steps are being taken from ramping up everything from uh, oxygen beds uh, to oxygen uh, supplies being diverted from the industries and uh, India now also getting help from other countries like UK in terms of our medical resources. So help pouring in from all ends, government saying it's ramping up resources, uh, but on ground situ situation continues to be worrying still.